Seth Coleman bringing you another broadcast. We got to talk about it. The world is finally seeing what Biden really has to offer Americans. Now, I see a lot of people crying about gas prices and how everything is raising in price and we're paying more for this now than we had to. It's because of decisions that Joe Biden has made with the gas. See, people don't want to talk about this about Trump. But when Trump was in the seat, we were energy independent, which means we don't have to worry about anything from another country when it comes to oil, oil, natural resources, anything like that, because we're doing it in our own country. Now I get body wants to be more green and more energy efficient and whatever, but it's a way that you, it's a process. You can't just shut down what you've been doing for years to try to implement a new program and not knowing if the program is going to work or not. There's no reason if we were making oil in America, gas prices would not be rising as much as they are. These other countries that we're getting the oil from know, knows this. They know that we depend on them now for oil. So now they jack the prices up. They wait till we use up a lot of what we, and now we, we have to ask them for more. And they're saying, we're not making you more. Why are we getting oil from Russia? If, if, if Trump was Russia collusion and working with Russia during his presidency, we would have been getting oil and stuff from Russia. But instead, we were making it here in America to make America great again. But now we gotta we have to depend on Russia. They have invaded Ukraine. And now Joe Biden talks about putting sanctions on Russia on how they get money and how they trade with other countries and whatever. Well, that's still going to hurt us in the long run because if you're stopping them from trading or making money with other countries, if we're getting oil from them, how are we going to get our oil now? Oh, OPEC? We get now, so now we really have to go through the cartel and... And I'll booing them boys to, to get oil. Now people see, now people should wake up and understand that Joe Biden has no idea what he's doing out there. And we're about to pay for it. You see what Putin said, if anybody interferes, there will be consequences. Putin said, Americans will feel the consequences for the sanctions that were put out. But nobody's talking about this. In one year, the country has totally went backwards, upside down. You got girls who've been working their whole life to become a Division I college athlete and possibly make it to the Olympics just to get their records and their times smashed by a man who his last year of college decides he wants to be a woman and compete as a woman. That's Joe Biden's doing. All you people that have daughters who, who are striving for scholarships and whatever, they're, they're, they're finna lose them because now guys are able to identify as a woman and compete as a woman. People don't see. I, I also see the conflict of interest. People didn't see. Or read about Joe Biden's son, Hunter, being on the board of some energy company out there in Ukraine and Ukraine giving Hunter Biden and, the, and, and Joe Biden's family millions upon millions of dollars. So what you think is about to happen when they're when they're getting taken over by Russia? You would think that, oh, snap. Well, it kind of makes sense. I mean, Ukraine was giving Joe Biden's family millions of dollars. 
So we probably might have to go fight a war that we really have no business even really being over there because of what? Conflict of interest. People don't care. They're starting to wake up, but it's it's still they still want to throw. Well, it's because of Trump. This it's because no. Go look at every single one of Biden's policies that he's implemented since he's gotten the seat, and you will see why the world is the way it is right now in America. You will see why in some of these Democrat-ran states, people are just shoplifting. Walking in the stores, taking up the $900 worth of stuff, and just walking out. Do people see now why Trump was the better fit? When you have somebody that's a madman and a crazy man and people can't predict what they're going to do, then they can't move how they want to move. That's why Putin never did any of the stuff he's doing now when Trump was in the seat because he was afraid that Trump would hit that button and will bomb everything. And Trump would have. Biden is weak. Putin knows this. And now the Communist Party of China knows this and they're finna go for Taiwan now. It's, it's free range on everything because they know the current president of the United States is not strong enough to do anything about it. But y'all got mad at Donald Trump because he tweeted me. Oh my God, Donald Trump is tweeting. I, I, he's a bad president. Oh, Now look at us. About to be paying five to six dollars a gallon for gas. All because you mad at somebody mean tweets. America's gotten soft. You need to wake up and, 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 and smell the coffee. Just look what's going on. Pray for those people out there in Ukraine, man. Those innocent people that's, that's finna get invaded. And who knows what happens. But um, it's been another broadcast, man. Like, comment what you think. Share this video. Get it out there. More people need to understand that Joe Biden is really making this country a worse place. He's not doing anything to make it better. It's Seth Coleman with another broadcast.